Good morning, art buddies. This is Paint Girly. Welcome to my channel, Bricolage with Paint Girly. I haven't worked in this journal in a while. This is um, this journal is inspired by Robin McClendon. She does really awesome pages. And um, gosh, I don't know which of her videos I watched, but they're, her pages are highly decorated. And so I kind of, uh, good morning, Gail. I kind of jumped off of some of her ideas and she does a lot of marks and stuff with um, really, good morning, Teresa. Um, really cool um, paint brushes and stuff. So I haven't, I haven't tried that. I want to try that, but I haven't. So these are really intense, most of them. I haven't, good morning, Kimberly. I haven't done a lot in here. I love my cover. This is fabric that I found a piece of it at on the clearance um, table section of uh, Hobby Lobby quite some time ago. It kind of reminds me of like a carpet bag. And so I put stuff on here that I just liked. Of course, as soon as I go live, there goes the phone. I apologize. And some other things that I liked here. And this little bird was sent to me by Journey. I just love that little bird. And then I have this so it will wrap around, but see, it also can go inside if I want. It just depends on my mood. And then I, good morning, Kathleen. And then I just added a cool you know, tassel. Now I've got my camera down really close. You might be too close. You have to let me know. So what I was thinking I would like to do today in, in, in some of these pages in this journal was to add some facial features if I can. Of course, you know me, mostly eyes to some of the pages, <clears throat> you know, just random here, there and everywhere. Now, and I'll stick all different kinds of stuff in here. Here's my ostrich from Mary. Um, I was fortunate enough to have my name chosen and she drew an ostrich for me. Isn't he beautiful? I just love him. <laughs> and so I just started one. Most of them are probably going to be eyeballs, but I thought, so I just put this eye in. And then I thought I'd like to do maybe like some side, side views of something. I don't know. We're just going to see. So I just have some pencils out. Now this stamp here I thought was kind of cool. But I thought maybe I'll try to put, I don't know if you can see it. Try to put an eyeball in there. I don't know if I can get my camera to cooperate. Eh, well, you can probably say, good morning, Brenda. Okay, don't let me keep you from what you need to be doing. She needs a nap. Oh, my gosh. I wake up in the morning and I feel like I need a nap. There's Leah. Good morning. She's going to listen while she works. Do, 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 do. Woo. Look, I have a shadow. Me and my shadow. Okay, I just have a couple crazy different lights on. You have to just let me know if it's not good. So I'm going to start in this little, it's really a flower. Kind of looks like a, a little starburst. Now, if you need for me to see something, put it in caps, please. It's easier for me to pick up on it. And good morning and welcome to all that are here and coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not sure how, you know, this is going to turn out. I'm going to do mostly pencil probably, but I might get out a little bit of paint or I don't know if I have. Oh, you know what? I might use my Tombow markers. You know, if I want to put some color in the eye, which I might do here. So I'm thinking the center part. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. 
Hubby's taken um, our friend Betty to a dental appointment this morning. All right, so I'm going to use dark color there. Maybe I'll just get out my, what are my Tombos? Oh, they're right here. So I do have some water here. So all I did in the center of this little stamped flower is just drew a couple of circles. Now this is a darker green than I thought it would be. So I'm going to use this as a pupil in the center of that flower. Internet is glitchy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's so annoying. Good morning, Kathy. All right, so I just colored that in. And whatever I have here, the Tombow is not really going over that too, too well. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie pen. And I'm just going to outline part of this stamp. Now, some of these are going to be crazy. And the thing of it is, is that if I don't like it, when I go to do collage or whatever I'm going to end up doing on the page, I can just glue something over it. So how's that for a backup plan? See, now that's a little damp. I don't want to mess around with it while it's a little damp. So let me get my little heat tool. Oh, I keep forgetting. I've got to put the electric on. I'm trying to avoid my camera jumping. So see, I've got shadows. Hey, kitty, Jen. Now that combo is like right here. Hmm. Well, I did it there. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in the center and carefully draw a circle to make a pupil. Now, this is going to be a crazy eye because I'm doing it in the center of. Um, a flower stamp. See, I'm going to recreate these petals. I didn't stamp that great. So this is my journal that I created uh, because I was inspired by Robin McClendon. You, you check out her channel. She's got some really cool stuff going on in her channel. All right, I'm thinking I'd like a darker, I'm just trying to think, think, think. See, I didn't bring everything out here. I um, should have brought some of my color pencils out here. I know I had a couple here, but I probably don't have a color that would work. I was thinking I'd like some dark green around the outside edge of this of this eyeball. You know, I could use paint. That's for sure. Mary um, this morning was using an angle brush. It's my favorite brush, an angle brush. I just want to have a little more contrast on the outside edge of this iris. And Well, maybe I could use brown because I have brown handy. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, bark brown. Green and brown. Hazel eyes. They're green brown, you know. All right. Let's see. I'm going to grab a little piece of paper towel. I'm just winging this. I'm just doing whatever. It just came to me. I think I'd like to just add different things to different pages. Hey, Brenda D. 
got Brenda A and Brenda G. Good morning, good morning. And I'm just gonna see if I can get a little contrast going here on the edge of this, the left-hand side of this iris. This may not be enough. I don't know how much you guys will be able to see. Now, if I have my camera down too far or not down far enough, let me know. Oh, look. Now, see, I wasn't thinking that would. Um, I wasn't thinking that. Um, I think it was the um, Sharpie pen that bled. Live and learn, live and learn. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna have a hole. I'm gonna have a hole burnt through there. Woo, 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 woo. Definitely gonna have to put a sticker. Hey, there's in. This might be uh this is what not to do if you want to put eyebrows in your this page is different kind of paper. It's real thin. It doesn't have much of body to it. I really don't want to poke a hole through there. I'm going to just try to put a couple little lines in here. You know how we all have those little lines in our eyeballs? Hey, there's Mitz. Good morning, Mitz. How you be? All right, now I'm going to take my Posca pen. And give myself a little highlight there. Maybe down there. So this is just crazy, fun, easy stuff that I want to add to pages. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the pages. So that's just the inside of a stamped flower. I did this one before you guys arrived. Look, I got that that blood through. I'm just so sorry. I think it's mostly the paper. I don't know what this paper is. A lot of the other paper that I used in this journal is um, a little heavier. See, there's another light one too. See, now this one, this page here, this is graph paper, so it's a little heavier, but see, I've got the uh, stamp. It's all these little circles. I wonder how they would look if I kind of did those, um, hmm. I guess they would look weird if they were just a a, a, um, a um, pupil, right? You probably should have some other kind of, that's a very big pupil. Hmm. Oh, maybe you're going to get some kind of a storm, Brenda A. Eh? How's your weather? Our TV's been crazy. I don't know if I'm going to um, have to, if we're going to have to replace our TV. But some of the stuff's not recording right, or, or maybe it was the weather. I don't know. Ann says that yesterday I forgot my neighbor family for storage container with beads and metal that we made good journal closures. Sweet. 
All right, so let me get a couple of these Tombos. I never use my Tombos. And you know what? I just, no reason that I don't use them in particular. It's just, I guess I forget them. I'm going to try, though, to put some out on my, oh, that's really light. This is a light purple. Let's do a light purple. Let's do a light purple down here. I'm just going to make some different pupils. Well, the, like the iris part. And I've got like a brown khaki green going on this on this page. No, I didn't like the way that that, um, oh, they're giving you all her craft things. Hey, that's nice. I love that. And I love rooting through when somebody does that for you. I love rooting through their stuff and seeing all what you got, you know. So cool. All right, so the tombos are watercolor, so they're going to move a little bit, but that's okay. that's okay. I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to see if I can spin my wheel. I don't know if I can. I have not been, oh, this might work. I have not been out at my desk very much lately. Hey, there's such a Pam. Good morning, Pam. So this is a ceram coat. It's called Passion. It's a bright purple. I'm going to see if I can just float some color along the edge of this. And when I say I, I'm going to float color, basically what I do is I just take my brush, and I'm a big angle brush person. Just take my brush. I tip it in my water take off most of the moisture. I just load the paint on the tip of my brush. That didn't clear up very well. And then I just stroke it out on my work surface. And that could be, um, gosh, that could be tin foil. That could be a waxed paper. A, a palette. It could be, a, you know, anything that you can brush. This Mary, hello, hello. She's popping in. She gave me a thumbs up. Thank you. And the idea is that the paint is darker on the uh, outside edge. And it floats and blends to the right. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing. You have to let me know if you can't see. I'll try to adjust. And many of you have probably seen me do this before. So what I do when I load my brush is I put it in water. I tap tap take out a lot of the extra moisture put the paint on the tip of the brush this is an angle brush like what mary was using earlier oh my camera is not cooperating today and then i just take it and i just stroke 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 seeing that water carries the color across the brush so it's darker on the outside edge and later in towards the center I hope that makes sense so I'm just going to put a few little eyeballs here and there I'm going to use my heat tool I'm going to use my favorite brush. My second favorite is a filbert. 
if you don't know what a filbert is, that's this brush. It's rounded at the top. But my angle is my go-to. I use that most of the time. And they're usually the ones that are really beat up in my stash of brush stacks of brushes. So now I'm acting like these bubbles from this stamp that I put on this page are my eye iris. And I'm now I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm using that because when I used my Sharpie and I put water on it for this flower one, it it bled, which I thought it was dry, but it bled. So I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to use acrylic paint to create my pupil. And then we'll see how they look. Now, you shouldn't do this. And I, I'm going to tell you not to do what I do. You should really put paint out. You shouldn't put your brush in your paint. So do as I say, not as I do. Because it can cause your paint to become thick and lumpy. And Now, I don't necessarily want my eyes to look... Okay, Mary. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Um, I don't want my eyes necessarily to look like beady little beady eyes if you do a little tiny pupil like that let's see see that one's got a bigger pupil that one's got a little tiny pupil see that looks like a little beady eye so it just depends on what you're working towards I'm not too crazy about a beady eye. And you don't have to put this, the pupil in the center either like this. You can start from the top and do like a half circle pupil. But when you're doing something in, ha <laughs> there's my girl Chocolin. Hello, hello. Kathy Atkins. Hi. <laughs> Kathy, tell me when, girl. I'll be over. I'll be over. Okay, so I'm just going to do these all the same. Jacqueline, you have a busy day? No, get out, Angie did. Congratulations. Angie's brother won $500 on a scratch-off. Sweet. That one got a little wonky. So if it gets wonky, I just keep making it better, a bigger. Oh, Jacqueline's in a meeting. So she'll be watching and lurking. Make sure you all do the thank you. Yes, she's got a busy day. It's hard to talk and draw or paint a circle. This, see, this one's um, circle, this bubble circle, if you will, is bigger than the other. So I'm going to make the pupil bigger. This may look a little strange, but. It's okay. It's an art journal, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be whatever I choose it to be.
Okay. Now I have a lot of different uh, colored pens and um, Sharpie markers. Give you 20 bucks. All right, Ange. Woohoo! That's a very nice order. Let's see what I can find here. I'm looking for some kind of a contra like a darker purple or something that maybe I can. Ooh, look at this. I wonder how that'll look. Now I might mess this up. And if that's the case, then when I come to work on this page and do the actual um, art page, I'll just cover them up. Oh, wait a minute. This is, let's see. Of course, this is a pink tablet. Oh, this is a brush. Hmm. Not sure I want to do a brush. I don't I don't know that I can get see I'm wanting to do like um do like those you know lines in you know how we have those different textury kind of lines in our eyes. And they're all different shapes and whatnot. They're not um They're not uniform, you know. Right now, I'm just kind of looking for different colors of what I have handy here in my, my little handy dandy drawer. I don't think I'm going to put any more moisture. on this I should get up and go get my colored pencils that's what I that's what I should be doing but I don't I don't think I think I moved everything out as far as color pencils go this is just a black pen I'm not sure I'm going to like this. Ah, really? You know what? I never see my notifications, so I just, I don't even know really if they go out. So I'm just scratching some additional color here. Just where I put that darker. This is just an ink pen. Uh, Murray and Dee Dee Willingham, and maybe Janet Young too. They, those gals, they're so brave to me. They, they sketch in ink pens. Gosh, that makes me so nervous. I like my pencil. I like to be able to uh, erase. Erase, erase. Now these are a little funky looking, so I'm just bringing out some marks from the pupils. And then I'm going to come around this outside edge with this ink pen and kind of enhance that outside edge I should clean off my computer screen and then I'm going to put a highlight and then I'm just going to leave these floating eyeballs on this page 
I love drawing eyes, and I really like drawing eyes with um, pencil. And I like smudging, smudging the uh, graphite. Now, right now, these don't look like eyeballs, do they? I'm hoping once I get the highlight in there. They'll look more like eyeballs. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be eyeballs. Just a little eyeball. And then I think I'm going to try to put a little highlight down here. I'm being careful not to put my fist. Now, depending on what... I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got me on that one, Teresa. So depending on what I end up doing with the page, I can come back in and either add a bigger circle to make it look more like an eye or add some lashes. But I think for now, I'm going to leave that the way it is. And I don't want my white Posca pen to smear. So... Hey, cool. Now, I did have uh, pulled up on my phone a couple pictures of a side shot of an eyeball, which sounds difficult to draw, but really, if you follow the step by steps or look at a picture, it's not it's not really that bad. Now, I want to skip some pages here, and you know, I don't want necessarily an eyeball on every page. So I'm looking for a spot, or maybe here, I've got a wide open space here. So let's see if I can. Of course, I want one that's going to show, I want to do the eye this, this way. So I want to find one that's going the same direction that I want. Here we go. So this is basically what I want to do. Okay. So I'm just going to make a triangle and start filling it in. And then I'm going to use my graphite and shade and stuff like that to hopefully make it look more better. More better. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to start with a lighter pencil first. So this is like a, a 2H. I don't really know what those mean. I, I just know that I would like to hire the number like a 9. Let me see some of these fatter ones. Like a 9B, you get a nice uh, coverage of graphite. So, and this doesn't have to be perfect. So, I'm just going to start my angle. Hmm. 
this way. And you might have a hard time seeing this at first. So this is she's kind of, it's gonna kind of be looking down. So I do want a, a rounded edge here. And then here it gets rounded again. Now they have this pretty straight, this here. It's like maybe, I don't know, three quarters of the way. And then I'm just making the round part of the eye. And there's a little oval part there. So now once I get that scratched in, I'm going to come back with a heavier pencil so I can see my lines better. This feels heavier. I don't know that it is. What is this one? It's just a number two, but it feels, feels a little heavier. Of course, I can't. Oh, 4B. Let me, let me sharpen this one. Oh, let's see. This is a, uh, yeah, 4B. Let Now I'm going to darken these lines a little bit and hopefully you can see better. Hey, there's Devin. Hi, Devin. Nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. Now, again, this doesn't have to be realistic. It's just for my art. journal page here just messing around adding can you see that a little better now this is going to be my pupil now I'm going to come in with my darker add some more of this graphite So I want this to be dark so I can start rubbing. Hey, Shaz, good morning. And coming around. I want to add some here. And then I'm just going to take one of my stumps or what they call a uh, tortillion and start smudging some of that graphite around. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't fret. Just get just get a, uh, a Q-tip cotton, cotton bud and... Um, you know, I'm working again on that thin, thin paper. I don't know why I keep picking that out. And that is really difficult because it's it's not holding up real well to uh, the stress that I'm giving it. I'm just blending this around. And then where I want it a little darker, I'm just adding more graphite. Now this picture I'm going by, hey, there's Chris. Hi, Chris. Um, down here, see they start. with um, bringing the graphite out from the eye. I might paint that in white, we'll see. 
We'll see. We'll see. Now this one, they bring the eyebrow. Gosh, they bring that eyebrow. Right, so that's, so they bring, okay, I see what they're doing. This one, this fine touch, uh, 9B is not so great. I mean, it's just okay. It's just right. Now that one's pretty late too. Barbara, Barbara, there's the Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Good morning. It's still morning. Yes, it's morning. Um, somewhere I have all my pencils that I generally draw with. I've got it stashed in a bag somewhere. I think this is a, uh, let me see what this is, a pencil I bought for, that might be good. This is a Derwent Studio chocolate. I bought this for my color pencil work. Let me just see if I can put some color in here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Chris, I should just finished a pet portrait with graphite. I'll put it on Instagram. Oh, nice. Okay, Chris. Oh, I'd love to see that. Hey, Candy. Oh, no. Candy has no internet. Brenda's having trouble. I think a lot of my problem here is the paper underneath what I'm trying to do. It's not taking the graphite like most other paper I use. Now well, it's starting to look like an eyeball. I'm just trying to see, they kind of curve this here and give some shadowing around here. And, man, that just looks weird how they have, I mean, it looks good in the picture, but it seems like they have the eyebrow just goes up this way. This is an HB. Let's just see. No, that's not really showing up on here either. This is terrible paper. Oh, dear. Let's give this a little. Give this a little sharpen. Kathy Atkins, the other day off, or you uh, not don't have to go out till later. I'm surprised to see you. Mm, let's see. This is a little better. Uh, I've got a bit of a shadow. Cool, Barbara. Barbara said, 
For those who haven't heard, she was a Combo Cat Cafe thrift shop and she got eight unused rubber backed onto wood, which I love, stamps for $1. And it was 25% off Wednesday, so she got it for 75 cents. Oh, your client went to the beach with his family. Day off for you. Cool beans. Cool beans, Kath. That's lovely. All right. Ah. That's not good. I just did an ack. All right. Now, this may be a mistake, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna color in Oh it's got an itchy nose today. I'm gonna color in the whites of the eye. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's very slick and very smooth, Chris. No tooth at all. Now, when it's your art journal and your art page, you can do whatever you whatever you like, right? So, if you want to paint it in, paint it in. If you don't, don't. If you don't like how it turns out, get a sticker. I think I might add a little um, flash. You gotta see little tiny putty tats. Oh, I thought I thought a putty tat. Santa's flesh. You might want to just kind of dry brush this in. Oh, I don't know. Let's just let's just see what happens. Nothing like using the back of your hand as a palette. It works wonderfully well. Now I need an eyeball color. Eyeball color. See, I'm stuck on the um, lavender. But see, I've got lavender, a little bit of purpley lavender going on, on the next page. So. I'm going to see how this looks. And I'm just painting right over top of that graphite, which probably is not the best idea. Okay, Chris. Probably not the best idea either.
Devin, have you found a Chris probably would know too, but she's walk she's she's um away from her computer probably. But have you found that a Sharpie pen bleeds or like it's water moves it? I was thinking it was permanent. I don't think it was wet. And then I went and put floated some color around it and uh, it's smeared. It's smeared. Santa's flesh. I use Santa's flesh. It's a um a ceram coat color and it's called Santa's Flash number 02472. I know, right, Brenda? Now I'm going to go back to that darker purple. Yes, this is acrylic, what I'm using today. This one is Ceram Coat also. It's called Passion, number 02590. Actually, I was just wondering, says Devin, that the other day, I do remember it smearing on a color once at least, but I don't remember what I was using. Hmm. I was just shocked. I was shocked. Now, putting this paint down this acrylic, it's going to give me a little more tooth on this paper. So I might be able to come back in with my pencil and do a little more fidgeting. <laughs> her K is very close to her eye. All right, so I'm just putting some of this darker purple where the uh, pupil kind of meets the meets the uh, eyeball. Okay, Ian, thanks, thanks, honey. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry. What a correction! It's got a mind of it of its own. It like keeps keeps doing other things that I don't want it to do. Like it makes a totally different sentence, totally different words. I didn't like it. Putting some graphite over top of this paint. It's better. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on just, you know, the one eye. So let's go back to the Sharpie pen. And I'm going to do what Chris said. I'm going to just go over my... eyebrow here.
and put some eyelashes in here. I'm making them smaller as they go towards the back of that triangle. I'll have to spin this a little. I know, right, Brenda? I've often thought about turning it off. But then that's also scary. All right, so now I want to put just a long oblong pupil in here. And let's see. No, get out. Oh, yeah, right. Liz Taylor eyes. Kathy Adkins says they're selling eyelashes in a vending machine at a Chamonix Mall. That's my old kicking grounds where we live in Pennsylvania. Well, where we lived, where Kathy lives in Pennsylvania. Okay. So now I'm going to do just some highlight. You know, this is probably a little bigger than what I wanted it to be, but it's just in my journal page. And I think so far that doesn't look too, it doesn't look too terribly bad. All right. So let me get my, see, I've got all kinds of stuff here now. I'm getting out of control because I'm not putting things back. So. Put a little highlight here and trying to do a little skinny highlight. There. So that's not too bad. Thank you, Jacqueline. But it was really easy, step by step. You just follow that picture. It's really just a triangle, a half circle, right? Now, the thing is, oh, I know the highlights just make it. I need to try that. So I can I kind of puddle up my pasta. Now, doing lips Ooh. and noses, that's a whole, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother ball game. So now I'm looking for another spot where I can maybe pop a little eye see see i'm ready to draw on this again it's that smooth paper i don't want to do that again no 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 i don't want to do it again no 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 don't want to do it again right there might be i was looking through here earlier and i saw a page that i thought an eyeball would look cool I went and saw my mom the other day and 
Well, my husband and I went and we had lunch with her. And for some reason, I, well, we've been watching the Hallmark, you know, Christmas in July. We've been watching Hallmark Christmas. See, there's that lousy paper again. Um, oh, there's, there's, I forget who this little girl, somebody did a little girl. She does art like this. I forget her name. I should have written that on there. Um, but for some reason I had a crazy Christmas song in my head. We are Santa's elves. I don't know where this stuff, I mean, I know I was watching Christmas music, but I wasn't watching, I think that's from the old Rudolph commercial. I mean, um, it's not even a movie. It's like, it was like a kid's, kids, well, I guess it was a movie, but it's like, you know, the old timey animated, it was, it wasn't like a Disney where the one little elf wants to be a dentist. Oh, I think I would like a show called Pictionary. I think I've seen that. I, th I forget about that. I'm thinking about an eyeball right there. Brown. Maybe a brown eye. You love that version of Rudolph? She said I'm cute. She said I'm cute. If, if I'm thinking of the right one. We are sent to selves. That's all I know. Do, 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 do. I think that's, I think that's where it's from. <sighs> yes, the abominable snowman. Exactly right. Okay, so I'm taking my lighter pencil and I'm just going to make an eye shape right here. And I think I'm going to try to get it to go. That away. So this is going to be the right the right eye. And so I'm going to make the round part here for the iris. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of um, an eyelid. This time I'm going to do the pupil from the, the top part down like a, a half, like a horseshoe, kind of. Okay, so you can just see what that's all about. And then the eyeball ends here. We need a little eyeball end there. And we'll just do a little, I like to put in the eyebrow. A little line for the eyebrow. Now, generally, I just use a little, um, yes, burl eyes. Exactly, Brenda. I'll leave a little, try to leave a little open space. Okay, Devin, thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Okay. Love to little, to little loose. All right. I think we're going to dog sit this weekend for one day anyway. Our son's girlfriend's little pooch, I think, is going to come and spend it. Do an overnight. Okay. So now I'm going to grab a heavier pencil. <laughs> I have a number 10 somewhere, but it's like so ground down. I like to color in my pupil first. Because then I use that to uh, load up my blending tool or my stump or whatever I'm using. Got 
got an itchy nose today, girls. It's kind of big. We are Santa cells, filling Santa shelves with a toy for each girl and boy. That's the song I know, but that's all I remember. That remem you remember a lot compared to me. All right, so I'm just blending in that pupil, and now I'm just going to blend in the crease of the... Oh, you know what? I think I put the catch light on the wrong side. Let's just fill that in. I think I want it over here, over there. And I'm going to fill in here and the back little spot of the eye. And sometimes... Yeah, I should have a, and I probably have one here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Like a needable eraser. So I could take some of this graphite off, which is always helpful. Now I'm going to just lightly color in. I might come back and paint that in. I don't know. Yet. I don't know yet. I might even do the um, the pupil white. I mean the eyeball white, so it really stands out on this page. Particus, my oldest daughter, was afraid of stop motion animated cartoons. She had the Rudolph book and a Build a Bear stuffed Rudolph, but scared of the show. She'd listen to it. With her head covered. Oh, how cute is that? My kids were afraid of um, the Little Mermaid. They did not did not want to watch that. They did not like that. The Sea Witch at all. Not at all. I'll leave a little. Hey, Judy. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Judy O is in the house. So I've kind of got this brick wall happening here. So. Probably can't even see what I'm doing. It's so dark there. Can you even see? All right, let's put some more. Let's use uh, this here. Oh, superior coverage, matte finish. Bark brown. It's really not that dark. Which might be good. Actually, it is pretty good coverage. See, now if I had decided um, right up front that I was going to do this, I could have painted this all in brown. <clears throat> and uh, come back. Of course, <clears throat> and put in the black. I'm going to go ahead and use my black acrylic to get that pupil in. And then I might try to do lips somewhere. Nah. 
I might need two coats. We have a couple of misfits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was another song from that. Yes. Couple of misfits. Thank you. I'll be singing that all day. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, did anybody see the Ranger reel on Instagram where they were putting, um, I guess it's a Tim Holtz product, uh, pearl, pearl powders or something. And his, and I have the little, um, I don't know. It might not be. I don't know if it'll be scary enough to be Frankenstein. It might be by the time it's all said and done. Um, they were putting the powdered pearl stuff in the his little. Um, he's got a little flat. Gosh, I wish I could find it. Mine's here somewhere. It's got all these little wells that you can mix, you know, like watercolor paint or whatever in it. And um, they were just mixing it with water. And then I guess once it dries, then you just reconstitute it with a wet brush. Okay, Gail, have a great day. But I was just wondering if I could do that with my pigment paints. Just put it, put water. I don't need them with uh, matte medium. It was very nice of them. I asked a question and they answered me, which I thought was cool. And I have all these pigment powders. And I thought it would be nice to have those in this little. It's real thin and it's got a nice little plastic cover that snaps shut. And they're all little wells like that you would put, you know, mixed watercolors in. I had it down here in my drawer, but you know, I keep moving everything. You use the elegant writers. Oh, and that doesn't that doesn't smear for you. Good tip. Thanks, Kathleen. All right, let's get a thinner brush here. We'll get a little black. Let me see if I can. I'm not doing this at the best angle. So if the cover my if I if I make a mistake, then I'm covered. <laughs> they activate with order once they are permanent. They activate with water once they are permanent. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm following that. Maybe once they're dry, maybe do they become permanent then? 
that's how the ink tends is once it's dry they become permanent Judy, I want to know what you're eating today. What are you going to eat today, Jude? Hey, Jude, what you having for lunch? Okay, let's do a big... Big eyebrow here. They activate with water, then when they dry, they are per Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Kathleen. Script writers, huh? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to look up a pair of lips. So I'm going to try a pair of lips. Just want to darken the edge of that a little bit. Put a little darkness underneath her eyebrow. Really? I have to go back and see what you called them again. I don't know why I think I might have maybe one of those. Hmm. This weather is making me Ouch, my head off. Hmm. Don't know. Hey, Ray, good morning. Maybe I should just try to do I think um, a lot of times weather bothers people that have um, issues with migraines. Hey, Barbie. Oh, 
my pupil's really not straight like that, you know. So I'm just dragging a little bit of this black into the brown. And let's put a little bit of a oh, let's try the Posca like like Dee Dee does. She puts a little bit down, then she gives it a smush to try to make a little bit of a highlight there. Make a messy and then she when when an Edie colors she always puts a little bit of the eye color I slept all day yesterday slept all afternoon my husband went to car club and I slept I didn't wake up till he came home Yep, and then I slept last night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she usually puts a little bit of the eye color, the top part of the white, like your eye, like there's a little um, little eye shadow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna float me a little color there. Just takes away that real stark white light. So I think that'll be all right. So that might be a cool page. I like the eyebrow. Now, let me find, let's say, drool. I'm going to say real lips. Now, there's a trick to drawing lips, too. Got to put in the right letters, Lore. Not draw a real lisp. That might be a challenge. Oh, come on. I think I need a new phone. I think my screen's starting to... Mm, look at those babies. I don't want to do teeth. How to draw realistic lips in seven simple steps. Decide the length and height of your drooling. Oh, look, she gives you like a little grid. Top lip, bottom lip. Sketch the simple shape. Okay, let's follow this, babe. This one is called... Uh, is there a person? Emily Armstrong. So I'm gonna crawl, I'm gonna find the page. I'm gonna do lips. Okay, Kath's gonna go. She's gonna put clothes on on the line. Oh, they'll smell so good. Before M gets there. All right, Kath. I'll catch up with you later. Where might a pair of lips go? Ooh, I'm thinking right there. Right there. Maybe right there. 
see what else we got. Oh, up here there might be nice. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I want to make them red. So maybe here, because it's got the pinkies, the pinky pinkies going on. Why am I such a misfit? Something like that. Do, 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 do. I could look I could look all day long for the right page. I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go right there. Now she says use a lighter pencil, which I will use. This is my 2H, and she draws a little rectangle. And the top part she makes more narrow. And she divides it in half. So this is going to be the bottom. And this will be the top lips. Now to draw the shape of the lips, lightly sketch in three shapes for the top lip. And two for the bottom lip. Draw the heart shape in the middle. So up here, the top part, she puts a heart shape. And then she puts two little oval and then she puts two circles down here. I don't know. We'll see how it's going to turn out. Okay, who's headed out now? Oh, Cass, everybody's saying bye to Cass. Okay. What? Okay. Now she puts what she's calling a teardrop here. Well, it's hard to do a teardrop back this way, I think. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So she she has to draw the grid, and then you divide it. You want the bottom to be a little thicker. These circles are not the same size. Draw a heart in the top part. Teardrop shape here. Teardrop shape here, and then two large circles down here. like that. Draw the important angles of the lip. Draw six angles for the center line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. So she does the bottom of the heart. One, two, three, Four, five, six. And then she sketches lightly up over the heart, over your teardrop. Hmm. And she comes around the bottom of those circles that we made. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just going through this very quickly. Um, not spending a lot of time in reading every word she's got here. And then we're going to, I'm going to erase out these little 
initial lines. I'm going to erase out my circle. And she wants us to keep a lighter portion um, like here. And then it's darker around the bottom. I can barely can't see. She's on her phone. Okay, let me know, baby. All right, so I'm going to grab one of the darker pencils. Can I put that back? Did I put that back? And then she kind of... Um, She kind of has sketched like this way to kind of give herself where the darker areas are going to be. And this should all be darker in here, darker around the bottom of the lip. So I'm just coloring that in. You see them now, Ange? Okay. So now let me get a little stumpity dump dump here. Some of these are not the same, you know, created equal. These are real bendy. I'm not a fan of the bendy ones. I like I like the ones that are more stable. This one, like, see, I can't bend. There's no flexibility. So it, that really is better for me. trying to blend these areas that I kind of sketched in. And she says, don't have a dark outline uh, around the top, which, you know, I do. Oops. Oops. Center line and wrinkle line. Then you can shade up in here too. Uh, you got that little divot, you know, under your nose. I know it's called something. You don't have any sound? Oh, I don't know. Does anybody else have sound? Can you hear me? I'm assuming everything is well because no no one has said anything. But um, can you guys see what um, Barbara is typing? She said she has no sound. Those lips are not smiling and they are not pursed for a kiss. Must be a bad hair day for the lip person. <laughs> well, as long as they look like lips, I think I'm ahead of the game at this point. I'm just trying to make them look like lips. I have to give them personality on the next try. The full comb under the nose. Thanks, Cass. So that we can put in here. Teresa said all as well, so I'm assuming she has sound, Barbara. I'm sorry. So I'm going to deepen this up here, really try to get some contrast going. I was thinking I'd like to make these red. Thanks, Barbie. Okay. Barb has, Barbara has figured it out.
No, don't you say in you want to draw, you know, your lines. You got a line that comes down here. And you've got these creases in your lips and they all just kind of curve. And then you want to bring some up from the bottom. And of course, and there's some going up from the top. And I think I put in too many. It's all right. It's all right. Christine G. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's see. Let's do the let's do the um Dee Dee trick again. I'm just trying to make a little highlight in there. Which is hard because I think I'm going to leave well enough alone because I don't think that looks, I don't think that looks too bad. All right, huh? Woohoo! I guess color pencil would really be the best if you wanted to try to make. Hey, that was pretty, they were pretty good instructions. All right, so let's do one last thing. It's 11.38. I know Kathy Arbor usually comes on at 1. I'm assuming she's still... I've, I've uh, been out of... Um, I've just been out of the uh, my normal groove. And so I'm assuming she still comes on at 1. Do the shadow under the bottom lip. Yes, ma'am. You see a nostril and eyes? Try to put that little thingy in there. I really kind of like the way they look, so I don't want to mess around. The eye on the left is covered by gauzy fabric. Really, Kimberly? Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Um, Kimberly said, no, Kathy Arbor comes on at 6 p.m. Eastern now on Thursdays. Okay, cool. Thank you. This She would have some crazy lips. I kind of like her the way she is. I got this bendy one again. I need to throw this out. Love it. I 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 love it. Nothing like admiring your own work. This would be nice. Nice pair of pink lips. On to see a page. Thanks, Kimberly. And if it's the third Thursday, which it might be, uh, she may already be on. Uh, maybe Jamie is on. I 
think it's a third Thursday. Today's the 27th. Okay, Barbie, have a great day. I admire you for getting dressed. I am not getting dressed today. She's going to use eco prints this evening. Oh, I love when she does that. Oh, Kathy Arbor is a very talented gal. See, now this looks like Asian. Like, how can I do... I would like to do a... Um, Let's see what I can put in here. I don't know if this would be quick or not so quick. Oh, I don't know if it's my fingers. Or if my phone, if my screen is starting to. You know, give way. Like not working right. Because I have to keep fussing around with it. If I can find a picture, See, everything's a video. I don't. I, I don't want to play a video now. So I'm thinking if I could put in an Asian eye here. What's Ange say? Okay, she's going to go fix something to eat. Okay, Ange. All right, Teresa's headed out as well. Very good. Or they say, okay, you want to make them flat. I'm looking for a good picture. See, they don't look that. It doesn't look a whole lot different than what I've been doing. It just looks like they're real skinny. So let's let's do a line here. Do a real skinny. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. I don't think I'm getting it there, that's for sure. This pencil is really drooling quite nicely, actually. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm way up at the top. Oh, look, I got one of those um, ginkgo leaves or whatever they're called. <laughs> if 
for day. Things not to do in the nude fry food. The popping oil will get you. The painting should be safe. Thank you, Brenda. That can be your laugh for today. Tips for today. Yeah, I think Barbie left a good dress. Hopefully she's not frying any food. Oh my gosh, Brenda, that is too funny. Too funny. It's just, it's very, just very subtle, a little tiny. <laughs> Girls are killing me, Judy. Judy says, another word to the wise, also avoid ironing, especially if you are male. And there you have it. Rules to live. <laughs> Rules. <laughs> Rules to live by. <laughs> and on that note. Okay. Let's see. Just leave this the way it is. This looks kind of cool. Can you see that little eyeball peeking in here? I got my camera at a weird angle. Maybe that's better. Oh my gosh. What a hoot. What a hoot. All right, girls. I'm going to scoot. I'm going to skedaddle. So, I just felt like draw, drawing some eyes and, and such today. So, let's see. Can we find what I did? I did one before I came on. While I was at Murray's. So, I popped a little eyeball in there. The top of that page. I should have done something down lower, but this one was a stamp that didn't quite stamp so so well. And then I just put an eyeball in there. Now see so you can see here where my I'm so surprised my uh, Tombow marker bled through these papers. So there's just the iris and the pupil floating around on that page. And what else do we do? I should have um, I should have clipped them. Oh, yeah, this guy. See, goodness, I forgot about the big old eyeball. Oh, thanks, Cassie. Okay, okay, that's an idea. Thanks, Kath. All righty. And then of course, color doing eyes is or it's kind of like my comfort zone. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it. It's just that I I am comfortable doing them. I like I like how most of them turn out. Some of them I don't. That's for sure. I got plenty of eyeballs. I don't like how they turned out. And then we did the lips. Oh yeah, this one on the wall, on the brick wall. Real 
really liking that eyebrow. I like. I think I like because I put that dark shadow underneath. And then our lips. This is my Mary drawing. She did for me and sent to me. And it's one of the winning numbers. Oh my gosh, I feel like my I'm so unused to sitting in this chair anymore. I, I really have not been out to my my art table. And um, gosh, I feel like my legs are falling asleep. My lip. My lips. I love violet eyes with glistening, very pretty, especially with dark auburn. Oh yes, Judy. You like the wall? Yeah, I like that's one of my favorite stamps. Um, and then I just did that little. I just did that little little thin eye. Which really only took a couple of seconds. I mean, it wasn't long. Of course, now I don't know where. It, I don't. Oh, it's after this, I think. Yeah. That needs a little highlight, right? Just a little tiny. I just did a little tiny one. Tiny, tiny. When you do the uh, graphite, sometimes you get that glare. Anywho. All right, kids. That's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Glad to see so many of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you. I'll see you real soon, I hope. Maybe Sunday. I'm planning on it. I don't know. The kids the kids might be here. So we'll see. I might have to adjust a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Anywho. Don't forget. Take time to be creative. And enjoy the journey. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.